With the war in Iraq now in its fifth year, more and more parents have heard the words they all fear the most, that their son or daughter has been killed. One Michigan man who received that news has now made it his mission to make sure his state's fallen will be forever remembered. Here's NBC's Ann Thompson. They are the soldiers' essentials. Boots, rifle, dog tags, helmet. And a father's love. <laughs> yep, father's love and support. Skip Bushard is determined no fallen soldiers will be forgotten. So across Michigan, he's working to erect these memorials in the hometowns of every man and woman who has died in this war. There's so many people have forgotten. They, they, they take our liberties and our freedoms for granted. This is now his life's work. The retired Air Force sergeant going to funeral after funeral, meeting the grieving families. And know that his service and sacrifice will never be forgotten. Offering a simple flag and something few others can. I can truly walk up to a mother and father and say, I know what you're going through. Because in November 2003, Skip heard the words every father dreads. The uh, Secretary of Defense regrets to inform you that your son has been killed by Iraq. Skip son Damien was one of the first Michigan soldiers to die in Iraq. Since that time, Skip has attended almost 100 funerals, at one point going to 10 services in just 11 days. I'll look forward to seeing you on the 6th. In Skip's office, pink marks the towns big and small he's traveled to. Among the many people comforted by Skip's determination, Mike and Paula Zazadny, their 19-year-old daughter, Holly. Just want to say thank you. Miss you very much. Love you. The only Michigan woman killed so far in this war. My fear from the day that she was killed was that she would be forgotten. Working with Paula and Mike, Skip helped them raise money for a memorial to their daughter. There's nothing I can do for Holly. There's nothing at all that I can do anymore except go to a cemetery or do things like this with the memorial. We have our casualty update. Skip's organization, oh, the Michigan well, chapter of Lest They Be Forgotten, yeah. takes no money from the families, relying instead on fundraisers and donations. A man who still wears Damien's dog tags around his neck, Skip says he will spend this Father's Day at his own son's memorial. If he can't be with me, at least I can come and be with him. What do you think Damien would think about what you're doing? I think he'd be pleased. I think he'd say, yep, that's my dad. A son who loved his country and a father who loves his son determined no one's child will be forgotten. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Waterford Township, Michigan. Nightly News continues after this.